Welcome. In today's presentation, we are going to solve trigonometric equation. And the question reads, solve the equation sine of twice beta minus 30 is equal to 0 0.5 for the range 0 up to 360 for the values of beta. In this problem, we are first of all going to get the sine inverse of 0 0.5 so that we have the angle twice beta minus 30. So the sine inverse of 0 0.5, so that should be 30. Now, we are interested in the acute value. Suppose it was negative, then assume the negative symbol and then just get the the sign inverse of the positive value. So for this particular case, we are lucky it was positive. So we just write directly and got 30. Okay. The next thing is to interpret using the unit circle. So originally in the question, the sign was positive. So we had positive 0 0.5. That means that sine is positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant so that the first value we'll consider is 30 because 30 lies in the first quadrant and then the second value we'll consider will be 180 minus 30 because in the second quadrant we determine the angle by simply having 180 minus the acute angle theta. So at this particular point we can therefore say twice beta minus 30 is equal to 30 comma 150 and at this particular point these two values are obtained in the first revolution and then in the second revolution we add 360 to 30 and 150. So the next revolution we have 30 plus 360, that is 390. And then 150 plus 360, we have 510. The list can continue endlessly, but suppose we stop it at this particular point. Let's see what that will give us. So we are going to equate each and every angle on the right hand side to twice beta minus 30 and then get the value of beta in turns. So twice beta minus 30 is equal to 30, therefore beta becomes. So if we equate that, we'll have negative 30 crossing so that you have 30 plus 30, that is 60. Uh, beta therefore becomes 60 divided by 2 and that is 30 degrees. For 150, negative 30 will cross so that we have 150 plus 30, that is 180. 180 divided by 2, that should be 90. Then for 390, we will have negative 30 crossing so that we have 420. 420 divided by 2, that is 210. And then for 510, 510 plus 30, that is 540. 540 divided by 2, that is 270. If we happen to add 360 to these ones too, the values that we'll get will be beyond 360. But remember, we are told that the values of beta should be within the range 0 and 360. So that is why I stopped at 510. And that is it for this question. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.